الحمد للہ و صلاحت و السلام علی نبی محمد و علی علیہ و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد حبت فی اللہ The importance of the Arabic language cannot be overestimated, Habatikullah. And this is reflected in interpretation of the divine text. As well as understanding and comprehension of the divine text, Kitab al Sunnah. And one of the things that caught my attention this morning when I was praying in the local masjid, it's a masjid, uh, Jamata Tablik is very strong there, strong Hanafi masjid. And what I noticed in some of the translations of the Quran, it was a very nice uh, translation of the Quran by one of the various. Muftis, they call them, which are graduates of Dara Ulum, which is generally a Diobandi uh, center of learning. And so I was curious to see what they said about certain verses in the Quran. The way the translation was put together was nice, the format. And it seemed that the individual had some knowledge in the way that they were bringing uh, some of the tafsir. But then, <clears throat> which I believed was going to be the case, and I found out to be true, was their ta'wil. Of course, there was going to have to be ta'wil. And what interested me is a verse in Surah Al-Baqarah, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Huwa ladhi khalaqa lakum ma fil ardi jami'an tumma stawa ila sama." Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi Kitab al-Kareem in Surah Al-Baqarah, Huwa ladhi khalaqa lakum ma fil ardi jami'an. He is the one who created everything in the earth. Jami'an. Everything. Nothing escapes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation. So this is relevant because as we see, this is absolutely phenomenal beauty, which I have it on black and white now. You'll see some of it in color when I change the format, but I can't change it as we're recording. However, the fantastic colors, the fantastic sounds and smells, and what I see, which is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's beautiful creation. So I had no problem with what he said, the translator said, regarding what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Huwa ladhi khalaqa lakum ma fil ardi jami'an. He has created everything in the earth you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says al khaliq he created everything and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says thumma stawa ila sama and we interpret that to mean cuz istawa meaning to rise who who the istawa ila sama he Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says this about himself he rose to the heavens. So Ahl Sunnah affirms that. But what was interesting, this individual, this Mufti, he translated it to say, then he turned towards the heaven. Then he turned to the heaven. Now, I'm not an expert in the Arabic language. But I have not seen any context for him to say that istoa means to turn. So this shows you again where ta'wil plays a role in interpretation. That the ta'wil of this individual, his means for interpreting the verses of the Qur'an because he's afraid of making a resemblance between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his creation, that it has caused him to find a new way of interpreting that word, istoa. I know istoa to mean 
irtifa. And I'm sure it has a list of meanings, and this is not the time nor place to go into depth about that, and we've done that in prior videos, if you care to research it. But what I know of estoa, it means to rise, irtifa. And other meanings similar to that, which means to rise. So there is no asal in the Arabic language, from my knowledge, now, someone wants to share, I'm open to their sharing. That would say that you could say that, interpret that to mean, then Allah turned to the sky. So this shows us, Sahaba Tabilah, the importance of gaining an understanding of the Arabic language and its role in interpretation. And that role in interpretation, that interpretation and that learning of the Arabic language has an effect on your aqidah even, your creed. That is why you hear Ahl Sunnah always so vigilant about creed. I know people don't like to hear it and the general Muslims just want to, you know, as long as a person calls himself Muslim, it's okay. But Ahl Sunnah is vigilant on this thing called aqidah, creed, ittiqad, because this ittiqad, this belief, is what you believe about your Lord. It's what you believe about the divine text, how you understand them, and eventually how you practice and interpret. And because belief makes you a believer or not, you see the import of having the correct ittiqad. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ikhlas with the bad, bless us with understanding of the book and the sunnah, and bless us to be a source of guidance, not misguidance. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم